Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl, Arrow, The Flash, Crisis, everything basically. So, Steven today just released a new sort of teaser for Crisis in the fourth part, which is coming January 14th. So, it's really exciting, teases some time travel stuff, and we've got some other stuff to talk about in this video. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. And next year. Okay, so Steven literally just tweeted this out like ooh, really, really recently. And at first I was like, oh, this is like an old photo from Invasion because it's the exact same set, the exact same colors and everything. But then I saw Kara's hair, I saw Melissa's hair, and I was like, wait, she didn't have bangs in the Invasion crossover, so what's going on here? Seems like they're actually time traveling. So this teaser is a teaser from part four of Crisis. We see the return of Oliver Queen and he's with Kara, our current version of Kara. However, it's Kara's old suit, which is really peculiar because she has the red dress and everything, but her hair is her new hair. So this is really strange. It does tease changes and it seems like everything's messed up. Maybe they're going undercover. Maybe Kara's trying to pretend to be Supergirl from the past. And maybe they actually do go back to Invasion in this warehouse where Kara met Oliver and everyone for the first time. It seems like potentially that could be something that's happening or it's like just an alternate version of what the future could look like or like they're looking back in the past and they're seeing these different versions of themselves. But considering that Kara has her old hair, she's wearing her old suit, I would say that they're trying to pretend to be those older versions of themselves, including Oliver, and Oliver's returned. Maybe this links into him potentially being the Spectre, so they look back on the past and maybe, you know, the past has some sort of alterations and maybe this is like an important moment in time that they need to actually look back on. So I'm just really intrigued to see what's happening here because I think it's a mix of the Spectre, time travel, and you know, them trying to alter whatever has happened. So yeah, let me know your theories in the comments down below. I'm really interested in this. I do believe this is actually part four in Arrow's episode, which is coming January 14th. So it's currently the 24th of December right now, Christmas Eve. So it shouldn't be too long. We've got about, mm, just about over three weeks until Crisis returns. Apparently we should be getting a trailer for part four and part five sometime in the next few weeks, so be on the lookout for that just in case that does happen, and I'm pretty sure it will happen. But anyway, so let's move on to talk about some other stuff. So the idea of this video was actually to do a sort of Q&A again like I did the other day, but then out of nowhere, Steven dropped that and you know that's really important that's the main thing we needed to talk about but let's move on to the Q&A section of this video it's got some important questions that you guys have been sending in send in more questions if you have more questions in the comments down below but anyway so the first question comes from Jonah G on YouTube and he asked do you think that Black Lightning crossing over in the Arrowverse is a one-time thing or that he will continue to be part of the Arrowverse so what I think about this is I think that it's more likely a one-time thing I think there is potential for Black Lightning to return in the future obviously he's part of the Arrowverse now but I don't think the showrunners have that much of an intrigue to actually continue crossing over maybe if there's another massive crossover I think he will return but for now, I don't think they're going to do like many more crossovers with Black Lightning. Okay, so Jonah asks another question. Do you think Cisco will remain as Vibe after the crossover or take another dose of the cure when it's all over with? So I think he's actually going to retain his powers. That's just my thoughts. I think that Cisco sort of will track back and realize, oh, I need my powers you know, to actually help and be, you know, this sort of superhero. Even if, you know, I want to protect Camilla or I want to protect everyone by not having powers and not being a target, I think he's going to keep his powers. Okay, so the next question is again from Jonah, and he asks, do you think James will return and reunite with Wynn for Supergirl's 100th episode? So I don't think he's actually going to return because I believe Makada has been in Australia this whole time shooting the Mortal Kombat film. And so unless he's done like a sneaky little trip back to Vancouver, I don't think that James is going to be in Supergirl's 100th episode. He wasn't at the party as well, but to be honest, there wasn't many people at the Supergirl's 100th party. It's mainly like the current cast plus Lois Lane and plus one L, obviously Chris Wood and Elizabeth Tullock were the only ones that aren't in the current cast who showed up. So 
Yeah, I don't think James is going to return. It would be cool, but no, it's very unlikely. Okay, so YouTube fan asks, do you think Earth 1 and Earth 38 will merge together? So I think that it's kind of likely. I think that's sort of what we've been leading towards, but I don't see it being a benefit to Supergirl or to any of the other shows because I think it's actually good that they're on a different Earth so they don't, you know, have that explanation of, oh, why wasn't Supergirl there or why didn't the Flash just run over to defeat this villain? So obviously with Crisis, it seems very likely that they will merge, but I don't know. I seriously don't know right now. I would say no, but I think it's kind of likely that they will. Okay, so the next question comes from Thinnest Breed on YouTube and he asks, Will Oliver, the Spectre, bring the Earths back using the Book of Destiny? So it seems like the Book of Destiny probably will be the thing to bring back most of the Earths. And I think Oliver will definitely have a part to play in it if he is in fact turned into the Spectre. I think that that is a very likely possibility. So Fia asks, at this moment are Lena and Alex dead? Yes, every character apart from the Paragons who survived and were at the end of episode 3 of Crisis, everyone else is dead. Iris is dead, yes, Lena's dead, Alex is dead, all the people in the future, all the people in the past, they're all dead. That is the truth right now, but obviously by the end of episode 5 of Crisis, most of them are going to be alive, some of them will stay dead, but Lena and Alex will be fine, don't worry about that. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the next question. So Doom says... What characters will be joining the Arrowverse? Right now, additional characters that will be joining the Arrowverse, obviously some of these new shows. Apparently the Green Lantern one's rumoured to be in the Arrowverse and some of the other HBO Max shows that they are planning to do. But for now we know that Stargirl is joining the Arrowverse, so she's going to be around. And obviously it's not the normal version of Stargirl that we know from Legends, but it's going to be a different version. So I'm guessing there will be... An explanation for that. Okay, so the next question comes from Jessica Friedman on YouTube and she asks, do you think Supergirl will end now that the CW is making a Superman show? So this has been asked many times, I've made videos on it in the past, especially when they announced the show. So I think that Supergirl is safe. Supergirl, even though the ratings aren't the best it's ever had, they're still really good and apparently last year they did the best for the CW in terms of the advert show. So they made a lot of money for CW basically, and so it's very safe. Supergirl, I don't think it will ever get cancelled because it does very well for the CW. I think if they're going to end it, they will end it, and I don't think it's going to be because of this Superman show. And by the way, the Superman show should be showing its first episode like its pilot, probably at Comic Con this year, which I'll be there, so fingers crossed they're showing it there. Okay, so Marion Malik on YouTube asks, do you think that Monel will return for the 100th episode? I would be thrilled if he did. So I was talking about this last night to Paigey. I was like, so Chris has been in Vancouver and he's barely in Vancouver. And I've explained this on many other videos recently. I think like three or four videos. And it's just completely out of nowhere. He pops up. He's in Vancouver for like two to three weeks. I'm not even sure. He could still be there right now for all I know. But that was the exact time. They're filming the 100th episode, they've obviously wrapped now, they had the 100th episode party, he was there. So, everything is lining up and it seems like Monel will probably return in the 100th episode. It's very, very likely as of right now. So we'll have to wait and see, obviously, but I think it's very likely. Okay, so I Love Flash asks, Will Lena ever come round and become friends with Kara again? I know she made it clear she won't, but people can change. So... This has been a big question, and I think it's very obvious that they will become friends again. I know right now Lena's completely against it, and it's a bit weird right now with Lena, especially in Crisis, how she was like, yeah, I'll help you, but I am not friends with you, and how, like, sort of blunt she is about it, and, you know, she can't really see any other side. But I think eventually the showrunners will twist it so that Lena is friends with them again. I'm not sure how but it probably will happen sometime later in the season. So that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this sort of Q&A section, as well as the big piece of news, you know, the new teaser that Steven released for Crisis at the start of the video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.